uh, all these years. Well, some of them because the other parts fell out. <laughs> but like a, a old man tampering his son. I don't know. Jackson 5. Say if you're a fat bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell them to the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark. So I just finished cleaning up after the dogs and fitting them. Now I'm just about to take my clothes off the line and fold them in my room. So it's less I got to do when I come home. And I just finished my chores too. So yeah, it's great what music can do because I was listening to music and yeah, I got it done pretty fast. So for the past couple of months, they've been working on the roads and I can say good progress so far. I think they need to definitely speed it up a little bit because I'm a little worried like how is it going to look during rainy season because yeah. We got like what two months before rainy season and honestly knowing Gambia weather you never really know it might just be one month so I'm sure they have an idea of what they're gonna do uh, when the rain does come but who knows who knows what they can do in two months I guess so that's one of my concerns with this whole road situation. Also this is very random but I wanted to add this to the vlog. I recently got this work tote from Amsterdam. If y'all don't know Amsterdam or if you haven't seen some of my previous videos I am always shopping at that store. It's like a secondhand sort of thrift shop. And I found this bag and I really been wanting a, like a, a new work tote and I was gonna order one offline. And honestly, I found one that was very identical to it. It was a literal dupe. Fraction of the price, I got it for $7 at Amsterdam and it's so cute and it goes with every outfit of mine and it looks so classy. So yeah, I just wanted to add that to the vlog. <laughs> Okay, so I realized I haven't been vlogging, but that's only because I was super busy this day. But basically what I was doing was uh, making more information packs for the rooms. Basically the information packs are like guest um, directories and it kind of helps the guests, you know, know more about the hotel. Um, just kind of things you should know when you're staying here. And uh, some of the guest rooms did not have them. I didn't make enough the first time around. So yeah, I had to make some more. So I'm giving them now to housekeeping to put them in the rooms. And yeah. Pretty. Thank you. <laughs> you wrote that? You write it. <laughs> okay. Where is Sienna? Okay. Oh, her shop is inside her house. Okay. So I first didn't know how to get to the salon, but I met up with her brother and he directed us the way to get there. And let me just say, guys, right when I got there, we got straight into it, cutting my hair. So, yeah, you're going to see that right now. Hey, um a blog here um, on YouTube where I just oh, talk about my life. So I told them I'm gonna cut my hair. <laughs> I look so funny. So. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like a little baby. <laughs> ah, I look so crazy. 
But it feels so soft and nice to feel my curls again. Because what is this? It's so fried. It feels good to be natural again, y'all. Oh, this is the new me. I look so funny. Never again am I going to that Moroccan me. No, you need a cut, <laughs> is what he was saying. I need to start, to start over. I look like my brother. All these years, well, some of them because the other parts fell out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. for her she's about to do a pre-poo aloe vera pre-poo aloe vera is so good for natural hair then she's gonna wash my hair so yeah i look so sophisticated and brown what do y'all think <laughs> before i was gonna get my hair cut like i already knew i was gonna i wanted to cut my hair just because it was like literally nothing else i could do and trying to grow it out was just like pointless like it's better to just start all over That's crazy. That's so crazy. Like, this is so bad. It's so damaged. But yeah, I can feel the hair grow growth from underneath. So, it's just all going to be the same size. So, I'm excited to finally cut it and start new. I look like I have a mullet. Yeah, I thought I was going to be sad when I cut my hair, but no i was actually very excited i couldn't stop smiling because i was like oh my god like i look so different and just knowing that this is now healthy hair and no longer damaged hair that i have on my head like it was just such a nice feeling <laughs> because of the black soap unfortunately my phone died shortly after that but yeah guys this is the finished look how you guys feeling it i absolutely love it i'm so excited to see just how much more my hair will flourish now that i cut off all that dead weight i absolutely love my new do guys and i hope you guys like it as well you guys can definitely expect more natural hair videos and yeah i'm so excited Ooh. And that is the end of this vlog, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed coming along with me to get my very first proper, proper big chop, big chop because 
like I've chopped I cut my hair off before but this was like the shortest I've ever gone before and I am more than excited and yeah I really hope y'all like it definitely like this video share with a friend and subscribe if you haven't already you'll definitely love the videos that i post and before i close out this video i just want to give a big shout out again to rec natural hair salon tiana thank you so much for helping me big chop my hair if you have natural hair or you want to start your natural hair journey and you live in the gambia but you don't know a salon to go to that actually knows their stuff i would definitely recommend you guys to go to this salon thank you jackie for putting me on to her i'm definitely going to be going to her from now on when it comes to taking care of my natural hair because yeah she definitely knows her stuff as you can see her hair is so full so luscious and long and yeah she was giving me so much advice and i was just like thank you girl thank you so yeah i'll definitely be going to her from now on and yeah thanks again guys for watching the video definitely like it subscribe everything i said and i'll see you guys all in my next video until then much love peace everybody else basic you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice poetic justice if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust?